Like, comment, and subscribe. That's the way that you can help Real Talk grow. Here's how else you can help. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or here's an idea. Like, comment, and subscribe. I never really got into mixed martial arts. But lately, thanks to The Zone and Bellator, and thanks to Conor McGregor, he's, he's a crossover star. As Conor McGregor has crossed over to the mainstream sports audience, there I am, within that mainstream sports audience, suddenly interested in mixed martial arts. Ran across a guy named Chael Sonnen. I'm sure, if you watch mixed martial arts, you know, and I've watched some of his fights since then. Love this guy. He's smart. He has great takes. But I want to talk about one particularly bad take he had recently. If you follow him on YouTube, he does a great job of providing content. And he's one of the better people out there, I think, that talks about Miss Martial Arts. But here's where Chael Sonnen loses a little bit of credibility. And when he starts talking about boxing as a culture, a culture which he is not part of. I'm talking specifically about the idea that when Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor did their boxing match, that Conor McGregor didn't receive credit for what he did. I think that's a mistake. I think that Chael's an error here. And I'm going to tell you why I think he's an error. First of all, the whole idea that Conor McGregor fought um, the Floyd Mayweather, the boxer, as he was known before that night, is completely false. Anybody who's watched Floyd Mayweather's career, and you can go back and watch tapes of him, know that for this fight in particular, Floyd came into the fight, A, 40 years old, <laughs> he looked old, B, he didn't appear to be in great shape. And Floyd has always looked better, just on the scale, his body, etc. He didn't look out of shape, but it didn't look like he had really put in a lot of training. And C, the last thing, is that Floyd Mayweather has never fought in the style that he fought Conor McGregor in. He, he never has, and he's fought every kind of boxer that there is. The third point is the most important, okay? You can throw out the first two if you don't agree that age was a factor or that um, he wasn't in shape. So let's just throw those out for, say, for a lack of a better argument. Let's focus on number three. Floyd Mayweather is the preeminent boxer of an arrow. Mayweather has never been particularly aggressive. He's never been a fighter who walks forward, even when he could. Okay, and so the idea that what Conor McGregor did in the boxing ring somehow forced Mayweather to fight this style is completely outrageous. <laughs> and it's simply, it's just not the truth. Mayweather went into this fight knowing that he didn't have to be Floyd Mayweather, the Floyd Mayweather, to beat Conor McGregor in a boxing ring. It's the same thing that would happen if Floyd Mayweather went to the octagon fight Conor McGregor. Chael took offense to the idea that Mayweather carried McGregor. Um, let's not use that term. Let's not say he carried McGregor. Maybe it's the negative connotation that we put with the, that word, that term carried. He might not have carried him, but he certainly didn't go into the fight in with the same serious mindset that he would have to have taken into the ring against Manny Pacquiao. A lot was thrown out, thrown out about um, after the fact about how Conor McGregor landed more punches than uh, Manny Pacquiao did when he fought Mayweather. Yeah, of course, because Mayweather couldn't fight the same way against Manny Pacquiao that he did against Conor McGregor. If Mayweather went into the fight against Manny Pacquiao the way he did against Conor McGregor, even the Manny Pacquiao whose shoulder was hurt after the fourth round would have put Mayweather on his ass. That's just how boxing works. Like, he's not... It's not that it's discrediting Connor. Connor actually looked very good as a boxer. And, of course, Connor has a long history um, of boxing. He comes from a, a Dublin boxing gym or an Irish boxing gym. Definitely was, I think, surprised me with her a little bit that he was so comfortable boxing. It shouldn't have. Anybody that watched Connor McGregor as an MMA fighter, and I had a little bit, and my background being boxing, knew that he was a good stand-up fighter, he was a good boxer. Um, but Mayweather, 
fought McGregor just to the level enough to make it interesting and competitive and then easily won the fight. And that might make you mad as a Conor McGregor fan. It doesn't make me mad. I'll tell you what I'll give Conor McGregor credit for. Conor McGregor could actually be a really good boxer. But Conor McGregor isn't a good boxer right now. He's not a great boxer right now. Think about it this way. Do you know how much money Conor McGregor could make fighting Canelo Alvarez or Manny Pacquiao? Even Oscar De La Hoya, who's old and retired. All of these people, let me say it this way, he would make so much more money fighting, especially Pacquiao, all three of them really, all three of those guys, he'd make so much more money in boxing just because of the way boxing set up than he would going back into the octagon. But McGregor knows that he's not truly that level of boxer. Canelo Alvarez would destroy Conor McGregor in a boxing ring today. Manny Pacquiao wants that fight badly because he would destroy Conor McGregor. And that's not, again, I'm not disparaging Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, if he really wanted to be a boxer, there's a way to do that. And he could take fights, like he could fight Pauly Malignaggi, right? He's a lot bigger than Pauly. That would give him good rounds against a high-class fighter. Um, a fighter who doesn't have a lot of knockout power in his punches, that fight would be at least compelling from a boxing standpoint. But the idea that McGregor somehow came into our boxing culture and showed us like how good he was versus our so-called guy. No, like Mayweather's a 40-year-old halftime fighter who came in off the street, who didn't really train for the fight, and had his way with the best stand-up MMA fighter in the world. That doesn't disparage mixed martial arts. They're completely different sports. What Connor, Connor was a, he did a great job of doing his very best. And he definitely put forth a heck of an effort. You know that he put in that work. You could tell. I'm saying that if Conor McGregor wanted to be a, just a boxer, within a couple years, he could be at the level of competing for world championships. But the idea that Conor McGregor somehow came into the boxing world and showed, you know, that our guy wasn't that good, that's not true. That's just not true. Floyd Mayweather, um, and I'm not some big Floyd Mayweather fan. I'm just telling you that I feel like maybe my buddy Chael, old Chael, um, passively watches boxing, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe he watches it all the time. I don't know what you do, dude, but I know that you're wrong. <laughs> that wasn't Floyd Mayweather, okay? And I think that you'll see the difference. Maybe... Here's an invitation. Maybe you're like Chell up there. You're watching this and you're like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. Let's see Floyd Mayweather. He's obviously coming back into a boxing ring. He's going to be old again, right? He's not getting any younger. You'll definitely see a difference in how his body looks because he'll train harder. But watch how he fights the fight against any kind of fighter that he's going to face. He's not going to walk forward straight with his arms up like this. He has never done this, and he will never do that in a real boxing match, okay? Mayweather uses footwork. He uses his reflexes. He knows how to win fights in a boxing match, and he knows what he can do against certain fighters and what he can't do against others. What he can't do against a world-class boxer is walk straight toward him with his hands up. He can't do that. Again, I'm not saying that Connor can't be a world-class boxer. He can be. What I am saying is he's not one right now. Um, if Conor McGregor was a world-class boxer, he would be in the ring in boxing making hundreds of millions of more dollars fighting world-class boxers like Canelo Alvarez or even like a Manny Pacquiao who's also old and a lot smaller. And we can disagree. We can agree to disagree if, um, you know, if you're out there and and you're a mixed martial arts fan, and you're a Chael Sonnen fan, I'm both of those things too. But if, but you can be wrong. You're just wrong. You're just wrong about this. I just wanted to 
throw that out there. See what you think about it. Maybe you think Connor came into the boxing world and like the boxing writers like Kelsey McCarson are mad because, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's not really true. Like, I think Connor gets credit. Can you imagine fighting the type and level of fighters that he's ch choosing and has chosen to fight? That is a stark contrast to Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather doesn't fight doesn't take fights where he's going to be the underdog. So hats off to Conor McGregor. That's how, if you're watching this and you're wondering how you should live life, live your life like Conor McGregor. Don't. Well, what's going to happen when Mayweather's older is that he's going to wonder if he could have done that, I think. And his fans are always going to wonder, how good could have Floyd Mayweather been?